Lab. G'day! Learning in the Lighthouse Lab is always fun, but today I'd like to take you somewhere really special. And it's not too far from the Lighthouse, the Aussie Outback. Grab a pen and paper and take notes as you watch the video. You can download and print out the Aussie Outback worksheet from the link below. And I'll take you through a quick quiz at the end. Are you ready? Let's go! Well, g'day there. Oh, g'day, mate. I've got a pretty special field trip planned for today. Why is it so special? Because it's right in our backyard, the Australian Outback. The Aussie Outback stretches across the central and northern parts of Australia, where the climate is really hot and dry. The harsh environment makes it home to some weird, wacky and fascinating plants and animals. Let's dive in and take a closer look. When I think of Australia and animals, kangaroos are usually the first thing that comes to mind. Kangaroos, or as us Aussies like to call them, roos move about by hopping on their springed hind legs. Kangaroos belong to a special group of mammals called marsupials. Roos, like most marsupials, carry their young in a pouch. How cool is that? Another marsupial you can find in the outback is the koala. Koalas spend most of their time in eucalyptus trees. We call them gum trees. Their favourite food is eucalyptus leaves. That's pretty much all they eat. Eucalyptus leaves aren't very nutritious, which means koalas aren't too active and spend most of their time chilling out or sleeping. But don't be fooled, not all animals in the outback are cute and cuddly. The hot weather makes the outback home to a range of venomous snakes. The most deadly of them all, the inland taipan. These slippery sticks can grow to a length of two and a half metres. Their venom is incredibly toxic. A single bite from one of these guys has enough venom to kill 100 fully grown men. Taipans also change colour throughout the year. They tend to be darker in winter and lighter in summer. This helps them to soak up more sunshine in the colder months. Cool, hey? Speaking of venomous animals, check out these guys. The redback is one of Australia's most venomous spiders. They're hard to miss as they have a distinct red stripe down their back. Bright colours like this are nature's way of saying, back off, I'm dangerous. 
Message received loud and clear. Despite being only about one centimetre in length, redbacks love to capture much larger animals in their web, like lizards, other spiders, and even snakes. Once the redback traps its prey, it injects it with a deadly venom, immobilizing and killing them in a matter of minutes. Another classic, scary looking outback animal is the thorny devil. Don't be alarmed though, unlike the redback and taipan, the thorny devil is not venomous. Its diet consists mostly of ants. They eat about 3,000 of them a day. The spikes on the thorny devil aren't for attacking and are used for defending itself from birds and larger lizards. And if it's feeling like the spikes aren't working, it also has a false head on the back of its neck to trick other predators. What a cheeky devil. Can you hear that? It sounds like someone laughing. Oh, it's a kookaburra. This Aussie bird is a type of kingfisher, but eats mostly land animals, such as mice, snakes and insects. Although their call sounds like a hysterical laugh, it's not because they just heard a funny joke. Kookaburras sing to mark their territory. It's their way of saying, hey, this is where I live. But flying around in the outback is another bird, ten times the weight of a kookaburra. It's the amazing wedge-tailed eagle. This bird is mighty, having an average weight of 3.5 kilograms and growing to 120 centimetres in length. It is Australia's largest bird of prey. They eat pretty much anything they can get their talons on and are known to eat introduced animals such as rabbits, foxes and feral cats. They also eat native mammals such as small kangaroos, possums and wombats. The wedge-tailed eagle's powerful wings allow it to soar up to heights of 2,000 metres. They are also the only bird that has a reputation for attacking hang gliders, paragliders and even aerial drones. While the wedge tail may be the largest bird in the sky, there's an even larger one that lives on the ground. Check out this fella. This strange looking creature is the emu. Emus are very similar to ostriches. They can't fly, but they can run very fast, reaching speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. You want to know why they can run so fast? It's because they are the only birds that have calf muscles. You can also sometimes hear them from up to two kilometers away, as they have a deep, and powerful voice that is used during mating season. Like wedge-tailed eagles, emus eat pretty much whatever they can find. This includes grasses, seeds, flowers and insects such as grasshoppers, crickets and beetles. Now get ready for the biggest and baddest creature of them all. The saltwater crocodile, or as I like to call them, salties. These beasts can grow up to 6 metres in length and can be as heavy as 1 tonne. Crocodiles are an ancient animal and have been round for millions of years. They've survived this long 
due to their strong bite, fast swimming ability and their aggressive behaviour. They are also one of Australia's best hunters as they move silently and quickly through the water. But when they attack, you better be ready. The salties grab their prey in seconds, dragging them underwater, flipping them in circles, doing the almighty death roll. Australia has some of the most fascinating animals, and we didn't even get to mention them all. I really enjoyed this trip to the Australian Outback. How will I find you for the next field trip? You can just give me the old cooey call. How fun was that? Alright, let's find out who was paying attention. Get ready for the Aussie Outback quiz. Number one, which best describes the climate of the Australian Outback? A, cold and wet. B, warm and humid. C, hot and dry. D, cold and rainy. If you chose hot and dry, you're spot on. Number two, what is the name of the group of mammals to which kangaroos and koalas belong? A. Marsupials B. Echidnas C. Monotremes D. Bears That's right! Kangaroos and koalas are marsupials. A marsupial is a mammal that has a pouch or sack in which it carries its young. Number three, what do Aussies call eucalyptus trees? A. Yukis B. Gun trees C. Pine trees D. Gum trees Eucalyptus trees produce a gum-like sap on their branches and trunks. That's why we call them gum trees down under. Number four, what is the deadliest snake in the Aussie outback? A. Brown snake B. Inland taipan C. King cobra D. Tree snake A single bite from an inland taipan has enough venom to kill over 100 people. Crikey, you'll want to stay away from that one. Number five. What is a redback? A. A snake B. A bird C. A spider D. An insect Another venomous Aussie classic. A redback is a spider. Number six. What type of animal is the thorny devil? A. Amphibian B. Mammal C. Reptile D. Bird The thorny devil is a type of lizard, making it a reptile. Number 7. What type of bird is a kookaburra? A. Parrot B. Kingfisher C. Eagle D. Raven How'd you go? The laughing kookaburra is a type of kingfisher. Number eight, which is Australia's largest bird of prey? A, kookaburra, B, peregrine falcon, C, emu, D, wedge-tailed eagle. That's right, it's the amazing wedge-tailed eagle. Number nine, what flightless bird might you come across in the Aussie outback? A, emu, B. Cockatoo C. Eagle D. Magpie There's plenty of cockatoos, eagles and maggies in the Australian outback, but all of these birds can fly. The emu is the only bird in the Australian outback that can't fly. 
It's also the second largest bird in the world by height. And finally, number 10. What is a salty? A. A type of platypus. B. A type of marsupial. C. A type of crocodile. D. A type of snake. Ah, the infamous salty. It's a crocodile. How did you go? See you next time in the Lighthouse Lab. Thank you.